On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a food hoarder do you think you are? I would say maybe a 5 or a 6. What about you, Rasathi? I don't know, I guess I would consider myself a hoarder, so maybe a 7. This might surprise you, but did you know that half of the 1.5 kilograms of waste discarded by each Singapore household daily is food waste? In fact, a survey done by the Singapore Environment Council found that Singapore households throw away an equivalent of 52 plates of nasi lama yearly. Just like many perishables, food gets thrown away when it's no longer needed or desired. In today's experiment, two foodies, Justin and Rasathi, are challenged to cook the best meal using leftovers. But first, let's have a little peek at what leftovers they've got in their fridges to cook so they don't go to waste. Hey, what's up everybody? Rasathi here in Singapore and I was asked if I would mind letting you take a peek inside of my fridge. You want to have a look? So, we've been asked recently about leftovers, and I wanted to share with you exactly what all is inside my fridge. You have chicken curry, sodi, spinach and potatoes, this is pratapu or dal. And the list just goes on and on. Hi, I'm Justin. Let's check out what I have left over in the fridge. Justin's fridge is also packed to the brim, and such abundance is either a foodie's haven or potential food waste in the making. Check out these leftover roast chicken and eggplant in his fridge. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a food hoarder do you think you are? I would say maybe a 5 or a 6. Uh -huh. Then again, we've got like 3 people in the family who cook, so it's always a fully stocked fridge. I always keep check of the expiry date so they don't go past. You do have to plan your meals ahead so that you don't go with too much waste. But then again, sometimes some wastage is unavoidable because you tend to not want to eat the same thing over and over again. Surely food waste is not a given, is it? What about you, Rasathi? I don't know, I guess I would consider myself a hoarder, so maybe a seven. I try to do is plan out my food ahead of time, so whatever I need for the week, I buy, and then the next week I expect to go down again. If you don't use them right away, you forget that they're in there sometimes, like I do. Definitely, it's not intentional, and sometimes it's uh, the portion size as well, and the variety. But then again, our stomach space is so limited. Avoidable food waste accounts for up to 8 to 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. As consumers, we all have been or are still guilty of being part of the problem. But it does not mean food waste and its environmental cost has to stay. Nicole Ng co-founded Food Bank Singapore with her brother in 2012. They collect excess food from food suppliers and work with charities to distribute it to the needy. By doing so, Nicole tackles food insecurity and reduces the impact of food waste at the same time. For a country like Singapore, where we import 90% of everything that we consume, the amount of carbon footprint that we generate is actually in fact more than other countries that has agricultural in their backyard. Other than filling the tummies of those that are food insecure, we are also here to be the environmental champions together with all the corporate partners out there to reduce the carbon footprint that's generated. DBS, for example, one of the things that we have done um, is also to go out to the market to educate people. Why is it so important to support uh, a charity or cause like the Food Bank Singapore who champions both sides? Just by looking at the DBS Digibank app, because they have a special feature that says, live better. Once you click on it, you'll be able to find out a lot more about what all the NGOs actually do and support them with donations. Even though we have easy access to abundance, it doesn't mean food waste must occur. All it takes is a little discipline as well as creativity. This is what these two are put to practice as they engage in a mighty cook-off. Weaving in selective ingredients into their respective dishes, to Justin and Rasathi, repurposing is always fun and rewarding at the same time. When you prepare food, do you base it on what you feel like having or what's in the fridge? When I cook from scratch, mm. yes, absolutely based on what I feel like having. But then as the leftovers kind of dwindle down, it's like, okay, how do I prevent myself from having to throw things out? So how do I repurpose it instead? I think it's sustainable because you get a chance to kind of use what's in your fridge one last time, a different way, different flavour. It's not like we are taking like fresh ingredients and you don't need to specially go out and buy. Okay, let's get to why we came here today. How about we try Justin's dish first? Get together, let's go this. Justin's grilled chicken shashuka is given a new lease of life with eggs, tomatoes and onions. 
best paired with a piece of bread, just dip it in the sauce or, you know, stew. I like it. It's a very bold tomato flavor, and I love that you used all of the chicken. The aubergines actually taste really good with the tomato potato you said. Let's dig into Rasati's dish. To create a fresh pot of creamy soup, Rasati added ingredients like kale and potatoes to her existing leftover dishes. I was going to say, wow, this is an instant attack of flavours in my palate. It is rich on my palate and I love how you sneak little greens in there. I'm a carnivore, so I put this aside. It's a garnish for me. <laughs> but if it's this good, I'll give it a try. Who would have thought sustainability could taste this good? When we consciously cut down avoidable food waste in our own homes, we create both environmental impact by reducing our carbon footprint and social impact by redistributing our excesses. Mother Earth needs to breathe, and so does your kitchen, pantry, fridge, especially when it's overstocked. <laughs>